There are few figures in modern Christianity as prominent and influential as Pastor John MacArthur. Known for his unwavering commitment to biblical truth, his deep theological insight, and his bold leadership of Grace Community Church in Sun Valley, California, MacArthur has been a pillar of the Christian community for more than five decades. His voice has been heard in countless sermons, his writings have been read by millions, and his influence has shaped the lives of pastors and believers around the world. Yet, in recent years, concerns have arisen about the health of this beloved pastor, raising questions about the future of his ministry and the legacy he will leave behind. What is the current state of John MacArthur's health? How has his condition affected his ministry and the countless people who look up to him for spiritual guidance? And what does the future hold for a man who has spent his entire life devoted to the service of Christ? This is a story of faith, resilience, and the enduring power of God's grace in the life of one of the most respected Christian leaders of our time. Before delving into the current health update, it's essential to understand the remarkable journey that brought John MacArthur to where he is today. Born on June 19, 1939, in Los Angeles, California, MacArthur grew up in a Christian household under the influence of his father, Dr. Jack MacArthur, who was a well-known preacher and evangelist. From a young age, John MacArthur was immersed in the teachings of the Bible, and it wasn't long before he felt the call to ministry. In 1969, John MacArthur became the pastor of Grace Community Church, a position he would hold for more than 50 years. Under his leadership, the church grew from a small congregation to a thriving megachurch known for its strong emphasis on expository preaching. The method of systematically teaching through the Bible, verse by verse, with a focus on deep theological understanding. MacArthur's influence extended far beyond the pulpit of Grace Community Church. In 1985, he founded the Master's Seminary, an institution dedicated to training pastors and church leaders in biblical theology and pastoral ministry. His radio program, Grace to You, has reached millions of listeners worldwide, offering sound biblical teaching and encouragement to believers across the globe. MacArthur's numerous books, including his best-selling The Gospel According to Jesus and Charismatic Chaos, have become foundational texts for those seeking a deeper understanding of the Christian faith. For decades, John MacArthur has been a stalwart defender of biblical inerrancy, the sovereignty of God, and the sufficiency of Scripture. His uncompromising stance on these issues has made him both a beloved leader and, at times, a controversial figure, particularly as he has taken public positions on matters such as the charismatic movement, social justice, and government overreach during the COVID-19 pandemic. But as the years have passed, the question of MacArthur's health has become more pressing. How much longer can this man of God continue to lead his congregation and influence the wider Christian community? The answers to these questions have taken on greater urgency in light of recent developments in his health. For most of his life, John MacArthur enjoyed relatively good health, which allowed him to maintain a rigorous schedule of preaching teaching, writing, and leading. However, as he entered his 80s, the physical toll of such a demanding ministry began to show. In the past few years, there have been intermittent reports of MacArthur experiencing health challenges, prompting concern among his congregation and the broader Christian community. The first major public indication of his health struggles came in early 2020, when MacArthur began to slow down his preaching schedule while this was partially due to the pandemic, during which many churches, including Grace Community Church, faced restrictions on in-person gatherings, it also became evident that MacArthur's age was starting to impact his ability to keep up with his previous pace. Throughout 2020 and 2021, there were times when MacArthur had to step away from the pulpit due to health concerns. On several occasions, guest preachers filled in for him at Grace Community Church, and his appearances on the Grace to You broadcast became less frequent. Despite these absences, MacArthur remained resolute in his commitment to the ministry, often returning to preach whenever he was physically able. While Grace Community Church did not release detailed information about MacArthur's health at the time, 
those close to him indicated that he was dealing with some of the common health issues associated with aging. Nevertheless, MacArthur remained steadfast in his determination to continue serving the Lord and his congregation, even as his physical strength began to wane. In 2022, John MacArthur's health took a more serious turn, leading to increased concern among his followers. The most significant event occurred in the fall of that year, when MacArthur experienced a health scare that led to his hospitalization. While the details of the incident were not immediately made public, it was clear that the situation was serious enough to require medical intervention and an extended period of rest. During this time, Grace Community Church's leadership team assured the congregation that Pastor MacArthur was receiving the best possible care and that his doctors were optimistic about his recovery. However, they also acknowledged that MacArthur would need to take some time off from preaching and his other responsibilities to focus on his health. The news of MacArthur's hospitalization spread quickly throughout the Christian community, and believers around the world began to pray for his recovery. Many who had been impacted by his ministry took to social media to express their concern and offer their support, sharing personal stories of how MacArthur's teaching had strengthened their faith and deepened their understanding of the Bible. Despite the gravity of the situation, MacArthur's family and church leadership remained hopeful that he would make a full recovery. And indeed, after several weeks of rest and medical treatment, MacArthur began to show signs of improvement. By the end of the year, he was able to return to the pulpit, albeit in a more limited capacity than before. As 2023 began, it became clear that John MacArthur's health had improved, but he was no longer able to maintain the same level of activity that he had in previous years. His preaching schedule was significantly reduced, and he began to delegate more responsibilities to the other pastors and leaders at Grace Community Church. While he continued to preach on Sundays when his health allowed, there were more frequent instances where guest preachers or associate pastors filled in for him. MacArthur's reduced role in the day-to-day -day operations of the church also led to some changes in the way Grace Community Church functioned. In the past, MacArthur had been deeply involved in all aspects of the church's ministry, from preaching and teaching to counseling and decision-making. But as his health declined, it became necessary for other leaders within the church to step up and take on more responsibilities. One of the most significant changes was the increased prominence of Phil Johnson, the executive director of Grace to You and a longtime associate of MacArthur. Johnson had worked closely with MacArthur for many years and was seen as a trusted voice within the church. As MacArthur's health challenges became more pronounced, Johnson began to take on a more visible leadership role, preaching more frequently and helping to guide the direction of the church. In addition to Johnson, other leaders within Grace Community Church, including pastors such as Austin Duncan and Mike Riccardi, also began to take on more prominent roles in the ministry. These men had been mentored by MacArthur and shared his commitment to biblical teaching and expository preaching, making them well-suited to carry on the legacy that MacArthur had established. Even as his health has limited his ability to preach and lead as he once did, John MacArthur's influence remains as strong as ever. His sermons, books, and teaching resources continue to reach millions of people around the world, and his legacy as a faithful preacher of God's Word is firmly established. One of the most enduring aspects of MacArthur's ministry is his unwavering commitment to the authority of Scripture. Throughout his life, MacArthur has stood firm on the belief that the Bible is the inspired and inerrant Word of God and that it must be the foundation for all Christian teaching and practice. This commitment to biblical truth has been the hallmark of his ministry, and it is what has drawn so many people to his preaching over the years. Another key aspect of MacArthur's legacy is his role as a mentor and teacher to countless pastors and church leaders. Through the Master's Seminary, MacArthur has trained a generation of pastors who share his passion for expository preaching and his dedication to sound doctrine. Many of these pastors have gone on to lead churches and ministries of their own, spreading the influence of MacArthur's teaching far beyond the walls of Grace Community Church. 
MacArthur's books and written works also continue to be a major part of his legacy. His commentaries on the New Testament are widely regarded as some of the most comprehensive and insightful resources available to pastors and laypeople alike. In addition, his numerous books on topics such as the gospel, church leadership, and the dangers of the charismatic movement have helped to shape the theological landscape of evangelical Christianity. John MacArthur's life and ministry have not been without controversy. Over the years, he has taken bold stands on a number of issues that have put him at odds with other Christian leaders and movements. One of the most notable examples of this is his critique of the charismatic movement, which he addressed in his book, Charismatic Chaos, and in subsequent sermons and conferences. MacArthur's insistence that the miraculous gifts of the Holy Spirit ceased with the apostolic age has sparked heated debates within the Christian community, with some praising his courage and others accusing him of being divisive. MacArthur has also been outspoken on social and political issues, particularly in recent years. During the COVID-19 pandemic, he made headlines for defying government mandates that restricted in-person worship services, arguing that the state had no authority to interfere with the church's ability to gather and worship. This stand led to legal battles with the state of California but MacArthur and Grace Community Church ultimately prevailed, with a court ruling in their favor. While these controversies have sometimes led to criticism, they have also solidified MacArthur's reputation as a man of conviction who is unafraid to stand up for what he believes is right. His willingness to take a stand, even when it is unpopular, has earned him the respect and admiration of many within the Christian community. As of the latest updates, John MacArthur's health remains a matter of concern, but he continues to persevere in his ministry. While he has scaled back his preaching schedule and is taking a more limited role in the day-to-day -day operations of Grace Community Church, he remains committed to serving the Lord for as long as he is able. In a recent statement, MacArthur expressed his gratitude for the prayers and support of his congregation and the wider Christian community. He also reaffirmed his belief in the sovereignty of God, stating that he trusts in God's plan for his life and his ministry, whatever the future may hold. The leadership of Grace Community Church has made it clear that they are prepared to carry on the work that MacArthur began, even as he takes on a more limited role. The church's elders and pastors are committed to continuing the tradition of expository preaching and sound doctrine that MacArthur has championed for so many years. As for MacArthur himself, he remains focused on the work of the gospel, even in the face of health challenges. Whether through his preaching, writing, or mentorship of younger pastors, he continues to have a profound impact on the lives of believers around the world. His legacy as a faithful servant of Christ is secure, and his influence will undoubtedly continue for generations to come. John MacArthur's health struggles have been a source of concern for many, but they have also highlighted the incredible impact he has had on the Christian community. His unwavering commitment to the authority of Scripture, his courage in the face of controversy, and his dedication to preaching the gospel have made him one of the most respected and influential Christian leaders of our time. As he faces the challenges of aging and declining health, MacArthur remains a model of faithfulness and perseverance. His life and ministry are a testament to the power of God's grace, and his influence will continue to be felt for many years to come. Whether through his sermons, his books, or the countless pastors and leaders he has mentored, John MacArthur's legacy as a man of God will endure.